This is ABC 15 News. Well, it's high season for internet dating, and tonight a consumer alert. Going online to find that special someone could come with a cost. ABC 15 Stephanie Hockridge joins us now in the newsroom in our social media center. Stephanie, the scammers always seem to be on to some new tactics here. Yeah, that's the truth, Steve. The scams just keep evolving, and so we need to evolve our smarts in order to protect ourselves. Yes, I think I did fall in love with them. It happens all the time. Thieves pulling on your heartstrings, trying to get to your purse strings. It involves emotion. It involves romance. So there are vulnerabilities there. Unfortunately, people are looking to prey upon that. The FBI calls them sweetheart scammers, and there are major warning signs that your online love is headed offline. If you find a profile that looks too good to be true, that's obviously one of the first signs. And if they start asking those types of questions, tell me the name of your first pet. They could be hacking into some of your accounts. Be aware of of any type of request for money. The FBI says the average financial loss from these romance schemes between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per victim. And they all of a sudden say, love to come see you. Gosh, it's almost Valentine's Day. I don't quite have all the money. Could you just send me your bank account information or send me $500 and I'll have the rest of the money? Suspicious? Try doing your own detective work. If the person only exists on one site, that's definitely a red flag. Well, if you are a victim, file a police report. And also, you can check out some online resources. Uh, we have one like protectmyid.com. Uh, for a fee, they will monitor your identity and find and help you find any issues that they find. Steve and Katie? Yeah, you mentioned the key phrase there, too good to be true. Yeah, that's, that's usually the, the root of all yeah. scams there. Well, we all know how...